a lot of concern that somebody's going to end up getting hit. Tonight, neighbors are furious. Their streets are now congested with traffic because of the College Avenue bridge closer closure. The bridge over Fall Creek is closed for deck and sidewalk replacements. RTV 6's Stephanie Wade reveals the measures one neighbor is taking to protect kids, and she's asking city officials what can be done to help. People who live along Carrollton Avenue just off of College Avenue say they are dealing with non-stop traffic. People speeding, blowing stop signs, and driving the wrong way down one ways, and they want it to stop. Cars flying down here, um, and it's kind of concerning because we have kids. They're going well over the speed limit. They're blowing stop signs. They're going, these are all one-way streets. They're going the wrong way on one-way streets. And we have kids that are not used to this kind of traffic. Kids safety, that's what these neighbors are worried about. A lot of concern that somebody's going to end up getting hit. So much so that this woman is taking matters into her own hands. What would be more visual impact of seeing signs that kids themselves have made? She's gathering canvases, putting grommets in them. And the kids are going to come over, paint up some signs that uh, we can hang up around, not just on our street, but the next street over as well, and just kind of remind people that there are kids that live here and play here and that they need to slow down. The Department of Public Works tells me their engineering traffic team is keeping an eye on congestion, but it's IMPD that enforces traffic laws. IMPD tells me that their districts are fully aware of the issues and they plan on enforcing those laws when they're in the area. Stephanie Wade, RTV6. The College Avenue Bridge is expected to reopen on November 17th. In the meantime, RTV6 wants to know if you're having an issue in your neighborhood. Call 6 Investigates is looking into this problem citywide. You can reach out to us by email at call6 at wrtv.com.